tomorrow, a full committee hearing on cybersecurity. And this comes within our purview on this committee. And it, I mean, not trying to be dramatic about it, but when the Internet was invented, everybody fell flat in their face. They were so thrilled. And the world began to do business in a different way. Now, both the President Bush's Director of National Intelligence, Mike McConnell, who I greatly respect, and President Obama's Director of National Intelligence, Admiral Blair, who I greatly respect, have labeled cybersecurity perpetrated through the Internet as the number one national hazard of attack on the homeland in West Virginia, in West Virginia, in America, or anywhere else. So, I mean, it really almost makes you ask the question, would it have been better if we never invented the Internet and had to use paper and pencil or whatever? And that's a stupid thing to say, but it has genuine consequence because it's on the Internet that these acts of shutting down, you know, they have the television saying that ads every day saying that the Department of Defense is attacked three million times a day, and it's true. Everybody is attacked. Anybody can do it. People say, well, it's China and Russia, but there could be, you know, some kid in Latvia doing the same thing. I mean, it's an individual act. It doesn't require a sleeper cell. It doesn't require any, you know, ammonia or explosives. It's just an act. And yet it's an act which can shut this country down, shut down its electricity system, its banking system, shut down really anything that we have to offer. It is an awesome problem. On the Intelligence Committee, we were taken for a full day to discuss, to an undisclosed place in Virginia to discuss this. It is a fearsome, awesome problem, so to speak. I mean, obviously it's broader than that, too. I wonder where this stands with you, what your thoughts are, and what you think we ought to be doing about it. Senator, cybersecurity is obviously of utmost importance to the United States. Yes. And I think that the Intelligence Committee, as well as the Senate, 